we're getting set to go. They didn't even have hot laps. They just went ahead, packed the track, and we're going right into heat race action here at KRA Speedway on this Thursday evening. Googly Moog, I got screwed up there. I thought we were going to be hot lapping, but no, yeah, we're going to be green. Here we go, race Jared Kelm, and let's go race that. It's going to be Jared Kelm in the turn number one. Outside of him, looks like it's going to be the 18 of Chris Isall. Now they're side by side for the lead. Kelm, Isall going to the lead in turn number three. On the inside, that's Jared Kelm. On the outside, that's Jared, Chris Isall. Lap number one is going to go to, looks like Chris Isdahl by just as goes over. Jared Kelm now, Isdahl gets the lead out of turn number two. Kelm goes to second. So it is Chris Isdahl, Jared Kelm. Now he's under attack, three wide out of four. He's under attack by the six of Bruce Lab. Bruce Lab. On the inside of Kelm for second. Isdall with the lead. Labs in second, Kelm in third. As they come around this time with two laps left to go, I believe. Ah, three laps left to go. It is Chris Isdall. But here comes Bruce Labs. He's stuck right behind him. Jared Kelm's in that third spot. Now making a move to do to Joe Martin. Joe Martin on the inside looking for four. And here we go, the battle's on. Bruce Lamb battling Chris Isdall for the lead down the backstretch. In the turn number three. We're coming around to get the white flag. One lap left to go. Who's going to have it? It's going to be Bruce Lamb. Chris Isdall in second. Jared Kelm's gonna be hanging on to that third spot. Fourth right now is Joe Martin. Here we go, the final two corners. Who wants it? Who needs it? Who's gonna get it? Heat race number one, KRA, it's gonna go to Bruce Lamb. Chris Isdall will finish in second, Jared Kelm in third, Joe Martin in your top four. So your winner, driving the six, give it up to Bruce Labs. Bruce Labs charging. Is it Labs or Lobs? I'm, I mean. I, I'm gonna go with Lobs with a double A. Okay. Look at him waving out there out the, to the crowd for taking yeah, that. Yeah, he, he's happy. Win. Taylor Olson, that's your front row in the 13 and the 50. So here we go, the 13th lining up, that's Brock Hetke, uh, Taylor Olson. And then here comes Sophie Anderson, Dominic Plateau, and then Cody Hatch. Six laps the distance, five cars, and out of turn four, we're racing! Racing off, to, racing off into turn number one, Hetke takes the lead early on, diving down there with Taylor Olson, rounding out the shotgun on the field. Separating out in the back of the pack of the closest battle is going to be the 82 and the 69. 82 JR Sophie Hatch and Dominic Plateau battling to not get last, but a battle for second shaping up now as the number nine of Cody Hatch battles for that third, that second place spot going into number one. Brock Hecke has the lead. Cody Hatch is shotgun on the field. He's all the way up to second lap, one and a half in the book. They go into turn number three, it's still Brock Hetke, followed by the nine of Cody Hatch. And then, oh, getting close to the wall. That's the 50 of Taylor Olson. He got a little close to the wall in turn number four, Ryan. Close to turn number four, close to the wall in turn number four for sure, but now we got a battle still raging on between the nine of Hatch and the 13 of Hetke. Hetke and Hatch battling side by side down the pressure. Now Hatch has to run, but Hetke has a high side run. Hetke holds him at the line in turn number one, still side by side through one and two. Cody Hatch says, see ya out of turn number two. Cody Hatch gets the lead over Brock Hetke. Followed by the 50 of Taylor Olson. Dominic Plateau and Sophie Anderson. Two to go for the nine of Cody Hatch. Two, 
Two laps to go, and we got them all single filed out all the way down the back straightaway. Hatch, your leader, Hecky in second. The 50 of Taylor Olson in third. Fourth will be the 69 of Dominic Plateau. And then round, rounding out your field will be the 82 JR of Sophie Anderson. Into turn number one, white flag is out at your leader. Cody Hatch down the back stretch, the final lap, the final two corners coming up. Brock Hecke in that second spot. But Cody Hatch got the lead, half a straightaway lead. It's gonna be Cody Hatch, followed by the 13 of Brock Hecke, the 50 of Taylor Olson. Dominic Plateau, Sophie Anderson will finish in your top five. So your winner, driving the nine, he started shotgun on the field. Give it up to the nine of Cody Hatch. So Dustin Holquist, Pee Wee uh, Kunau, and Donald Mead. That's the three cars out there for the first heat race in your Wasada Mod Fours. Here at KRA Speedway, the Speedway on the lake. Take it, Ryan. And now for turn number four, green flags out. We're back underway with the three pack of cars. 5-8 to Holquist. Takes us off into turn number one. We're single file through turns one and two. The 95, sorry, that's the 99 JR of Pee Wee Canal. And the 07 of Donald Mead is your field. So off of turn number four, the 5-H of Holquist is your leader. So Dustin Holquist has the lead. Pee Wee Canal has second. Donald Mead in third. We were supposed to have five cars. We only had three, so two of them didn't make it. Looks like uh, Forrest Foster, Dean Larson didn't make it out. So leading the lap number two, it's gonna be Dustin Holquist, Pee Wee Kunau, second, Donald Mead will finish third right now. So out of a five car field, at least you're gonna get a top three, which unfortunately Dean Larson was one of my fantasy picks, so I'm gonna lose a little bit there. <laughs> but into turn number one, once again, the 5H of Holquist is your race leader. You, you and your fantasy, okay. <laughs> Dustin Holquist has the lead. Pee Wee Kudow in second, Donald Mead third. And Donald Mead could say, hey, I got third in the heat race at KRA. There you go. If they ask you how many cars, you just say, I got third. Exactly, got third. It is a five car heat race. All right, down the back straightaway, we go into turn number three with another lap coming into the books. 5H of Dustin Holquist is your race leader. Pee Wee Canal in second, and rounding out the top three is the 07M of Donald Mead. Three laps to go. They're about evenly spaced apart, about a straightaway apart, and that is Dustin Holquist. He's got a straightaway lead on Pee Wee Cano, and then it is Donald Mead. He's a little bit more than a straightaway back from Pee Wee as we come around this side with two laps remaining for Dustin Holquist. Well, Dustin Holquist has the lead. Pee Wee Canal in second. Donald Mead in that third and final position. In fact, if he doesn't hurry up, he's going to get lapped by Dustin Holquist. White flags out, one to go, Dustin Holquist. Pee Wee Canal and Donald Mead. And Donald, uh, don't look behind you, Donald. I just, I just don't ask you, don't look behind. I'm glad you don't have mirrors in there because you're about ready to get lapped, and he did get lapped by Dustin Holquist. He spins out, goes to the infield, and Holquist gets the jitter flag. Pee Wee Cano's gonna finish the second, and it doesn't matter anyway. Donald, Donald Mead's gonna finish the third, but he spun out, but your winner, the 5-H of Dustin Holquist. They're gonna line them up side by side. We'll get ready to go here. Second and final heat race with Soto Mod Fours at KRA Speedway here in Wilmar, Minnesota. So setting up pace, Josh Litow brings on turn four. We are Mod Four racing. Through turns one and two, we got the 8R of Josh Litow. To the inside, battling out with the 7L of, Ty of Taylor Lar or Tyler Larson. Sorry. No, now we got a battle for second with the, s the nine of Adam Beebe. Goes Freeve. Adam Freeve dives to the inside. Now he's going to be looking to the inside for the lead. Coming off of that inside second row position, starting third. Now looking for the lead on the 7R 
for the 7 of Tyler Larson. Off of turn number four, the Larson, your leader, but Preve is gonna battle the inside, Jimmy. Tyler Larson, Robert Holtquist, running in that second spot, that's one and two. As they go down, looks like Adam Preve sitting back there in that third spot. But right now, it is Tyler Larson, Robert Holtquist looking on the inside. Oh, I think Larson might have just barely got him at the line there. Holtquist, Larson, battling for the lead side by side out of turn number two. It is Holtquist. Larson, Holtquist with the advantage. Slide job in front of Larson, gets the lead. So, Preve gets your race lead with four laps to go. Larson now riding in second, trying to catch back up and see what he can do. Into turns three and four they go, off of turn number four. Another lap is gonna go into the books, and Preve is your race leader. Larson in second, in the eight. I need to get back at the, the eight R of LaSalle. Rouse out your top three. Robert Holquist in the five, has the lead, followed by Tyler Larson in the seven L. Adam Preve sitting back there in third. As they come around this time with two laps left to go. It is Robert Holtquist, Tyler Larson, Adam Preve. Actually, looks like Preve might be in that four spot. We'll see who's in third. I usually like to call the wrong number, you know. So it is Holtquist, Larson. That is the eight car of Josh Litzow. Litzow in third, Preve in fourth. Lickinger is in fifth. As we come around this time to the checkered flag, it's gonna be Robert Holquist. Tyler Larson. Followed by Josh Litzow, Adam Preve, and Joel Flickinger. So your winner driving the five, give it up to Robert Holquist. 